The psalm this morning tells of the majestic and amazing works of God. And in all of his creation, he cares for humanity and raises people up to be just a little lower than himself. This is how we should know our place and relationship with God. The healed man is clinging to Peter and John. Surrounded by astonished people, Peter preaches that this man's healing was given in the name of Jesus. His name is as powerful as his resurrected presence. The power of the resurrection is that Jesus defeats death and destruction. The blessing of God is to turn all from their own way to his love for healing, restoration, forgiveness and peace. The man does not need to cling to Peter and John, but to Jesus only. Previously, Peter was with the other disciples when the two on the road to Emmaus arrived to tell them that they had seen the Lord. And at that moment, Jesus appears. He is able to eat with them and explain, as he did with the two on the road, what the scriptures are saying about him and God's fulfilment of his promises. Jesus then blesses them that they will be the blessing of him to all nations as they carry this news far and wide. Today, Jesus' presence is here to bless, to forgive and to commission us to carry his news far and wide. I have been amazed myself at the opportunities I have had in this lockdown time to talk with people I've never met before and always at a social distance. You may have that opportunity today, on the phone or by a letter, to speak of Jesus' presence with you and his desire to come to all who seek truth, all who seek God, all who seek him.